talking about cervix cancer well cervix cancer is the most common cancer amongst women in rural india when we talk about uh, the entire glo- uh, indian scenario cervix cancer is the second most common cancer and interestingly this is a cancer with a viral etiology it is caused often by a virus called as human papilloma virus which can happen because of poor personal hygiene or multiple sexual partners now once there is a viral infection we also have a solution and the solution is prevention by of hpv infection by a vaccine known as hpv vaccine this vaccine not just prevents cervix cancer but can prevent anal anal cancer it can prevent mouth head and neck cancer it can prevent vulval or vaginal cancer as well and what are the recommendations well the recommendations are between 9 and 14 years of age two doses of this hpv vaccine is recommended 6 month apart beyond 14 that is from 15 to 26 years of age three doses of human papilloma virus vaccine is recommended beyond 26 to 45 it's an optional vaccine so you may not benefit from the entire spectrum of the viral strains covered but there still may be part benefit or part immunity against certain strain so the classic vaccine has nine strains and the nine strain vaccine is called the best vaccine however we also have four strain human papilloma viral vaccine what are the screening recommendation for cervix cancer now remember the screening recommendation that is early diagnosis does not change when you have taken hpv vaccine or not so the va- recommendations include in a sexually active women from 21 years of age every 3 years a pap smear is recommended which is a small cervical smear to see whether they are normal cells or abnormal cells starting from 30 years of age a pap smear can be combined with an hpv testing which is done by a capsid hybrid method and if it is negative then the next pap smear with hpv testing is done every 5 years so remember that this is a cap uh, cancer which also has a pre malignant stage and so you can actually prevent the cancer from happening not just by finding the pre malignant state but by also the viral vaccination thanks so much